Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, I welcome you. With summer coming to an end and fall right around the corner, I wanted to do one last summer look. So please keep on watching to see how I got these summer sunset nails. Alright guys, so all I've done so far is just my base coat with my Sally Hansen Hard As Nails Strengthener. Next, what I'm going to do since it is going to be an ombre type of nail, I'm going to protect my cuticles with this latex. Make sure not to get it on your nail. And this just makes it a lot easier at the end to clean up. I know it looks a little funky right now, but believe me, trust me, this makes cleaning up a lot easier. Next, I do want my colors really to pop, so I'm going to do just one layer of a white nail polish. For the next step, you are going to want a makeup sponge and I'm using three colors. I'm using this neon yellow color. I'm using a neon orange and a neon pink. Since we are going to be sponging to get the ombre effect, you want to absolutely make sure that the white is completely dry to the touch. You want to make sure that your all of your nail polishes that you'll be using on the sponge are open. I'll first be applying the yellow, then I'll be doing orange, and then finally pink. So your sponge should look something like this. So I'm going to just start sponging. So it looks something like this. After your first layer of that ombre is dry, go ahead and do a second one. I'm going to add blue, like a little ocean blue color, just to the very ends of my thumbs because I'm going to add a dolphin. On just the thumbs if you're looking at it like this that's like higher up in the sky and that's like down lower so the blue I'm just going to create along here for the blue I don't want it perfect because I do want it resembling water just put it along here I am going to be adding palm trees to my ring fingers and for that I will be using a black nail polish and a striper brush. I'm going to be applying just a tiny bit on the brush like that. So you want the line to be kind of curved. I'm going to do mine just like that. After that you want to do the palm tree leaves. So long ones at the bottom kind of like an umbrella type of deal. Next will be the dolphin on the thumbs and for this I'm going to be making like a banana shape that's the best that I can describe it as. Bottom curve first. Now you want to add the back fins, the tail fins, yeah, 
Add the flipper on the bottom and the dorsal fin on top. Now time for probably the most satisfying part, peeling off all that mess. I usually can lift it up with my finger like that. Do you see it lifting off? And then you can use tweezers, I just use my fingers. And I just peel. To finish the look, just top it off with a top coat and you are done. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. I appreciate you guys so much and until next time, bye! Oh, it's stuck! Oh no, the latex is stuck! Oh. It's not time to peel off, hold on.